the programs that is highlighted in yellow are the ones that is going to be offered in July 2021. The Diploma in Laboratory Technology started last year in July 2020. Uh, so we have our first intake. So this coming July will be the second intake. Some of you might be wondering about the career progressions um, for the five new programs. So upon completion of the program, you will have the opportunity to be employed under Hengi as petrochemical operator. So just to share with you um, the career progression. So you start off as a trainee operator and you can progress on as a process operator, on-site operator leading up to an engineer. So the, of course, uh, Hengi will have their own requirements, uh, which is going to be the color blind test and the medical fitness test, uh, which they will conduct uh, in order to, uh, to be employed. So the entry requirements, you can view the entry requirements on the link that is on the screen. I will leave it there for you. Uh, however, I would like just to share with you the general uh, entry requirements. So all, particip all applicants must obtain five credits with a minimum of uh, 26 points in the GCE O level or IGCSE level or is equivalent. This does not include Bahasa Melayu. For English language, you would need a minimum credit of C6 and for IGCSE, a minimum grade of B. And if you are coming in with an IELTS score, you will need to have 6.0. For mathematics, the general requirements for mathematics is you must have a credit B4 in mathematics D or a C6 in additional maths. Some of the programs that are highlighted earlier um, will have requirement for the most relevant subject. So, for example, most relevant subject could include physics, chemistry, bio. Um, and the other requirements is a minimum C6 in two of the following subjects. So the subjects you can see from the um, link that I have displayed on top. Just for your info, combined science will be at a grade of B4 uh, and mathematics D I have mentioned earlier is also at the grade of B4. Just for your info as well, to be eligible for the Brunei government scholarship, you must have a credit in Bahasa Melayu. And uh, for those of you who are coming in with IELTS, you must have a minimum score of 6.5. So I'm happy to take some questions at the end of my presentation, if there are any. So moving on to the next slide. The other general entry requirements, all applicants must pass an entrance test, uh, which will be conducted by uh, Polytechnic Brunei. This is uh, test uh, would be maths and English test for those who do not have credit in those subjects and for those who are coming in from uh, the level four diploma. All applicants must also pass the interview which will be conducted by Hengi and Polytechnic Brunei. All applicants must also pass color blind tests and they must pass medical fitness tests as well as are there, the criminal record screening must be clear. For those coming in from uh, technical education, um, they would need to have a diploma that is related to the field with a CGPA with a GPA of more than 2.7. So this is based on the four-point score. 
or two credits in GCE or level and all, all is equivalent or two credits in uh, all level and is equivalent qualification. They must also, for those of you who are working, you must have at least five years of working experience. So I'll just give you an example of an entry requirements from water treatment technology. So for this program, you will see over here, the most relevant subject would be bio, physics, chemistry, and combined science. And the other relevant subjects are those listed on the screen. So you can pick any two from here. And the most uh, relevant TVET courses for water treatment technology are laboratory science, agrotechnology, and so on. So every program have their relevant TVET courses. So for, for example, power plant, you would uh, electrical and electronics would be one of the uh, relevant courses. So please have a look at the entry requirements carefully. Some of you might be asking uh, if they wish to study, uh, where can they go? So the programs that are relevant at University Brunei Darussalam are those listed on the screen, whereas the programs that are offered by University Technology Brunei are those on the screen. So these are selected based on the similarity to the five new programs. So uh, since the studies will be at Lumut campus in the Blight uh, district, they, and some of the students who do not have a driving license, they have an option to use bus. So the bus will be um, at various points. The first pickup point is from Ong Sompeng. The second pickup point is from Jorudong Park playground and there's another pickup point at Tutong Hospital. So the, and then this will be uh, back and forth. So uh, thank you very much uh, for listening. Um, if you like to know more info, that is the information, um, the link for admission. And there are some uh, QR code which you can access for FAQ fee schedule, um, list of modules, and so on. So I'm happy to take um, question and answer now. Thank you very much. Um, thank you, Dr. Tang Shi Xiang. Um, we will open the floor for question and answers. So any of the participants, you can ask, uh, you can put your question in the chat area and uh, Dr. He will uh, be able to answer your question. Um, uh, do you have anything to add more, Dr. Uh, do you have anything more to add uh, before we uh, start getting the questions in? Uh, maybe... Okay, I uh, just want to share with the... Um, for those who are joining in. So you are the, you're going to be the first one to hear this. So we, uh, we are planning, Polytechnic Brunei is planning to do an open day. Uh, this will be conducted on the 24th and 25th of February. So it's going to be on Wednesday and Thursday. So Wednesday, the open day will be at Ong Sompeng. Uh, this will be for the programs related to the School of ICT, School of Business and School of Health Science. For those of you who are interested to know about the programs under the School of Science and Engineering, which is some of the programs I have mentioned earlier, you will need to go to the Lumut campus. That will be on Thursday, 25th. So the time will be from 9 o'clock to 4 p.m. 
Uh, so this is um, the latest info that I have for you. Okay, thank you, Doctor. Uh, we have a question from Fariza Wahab. Um, for the O level of subjects, uh, principle of account, it is no longer offered in O level but replaced with accounting. Can it still be considered? Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for that uh, question. The programs that you are referring to, you have to be aware that some programs do uh, accept uh, accounts, principle of accounts as a relevant subject. So if pro principle of account is no longer of offered and is replaced by accounting, we have no uh, objection to, to accept it. Thank you. Um, we have a question from Nor Amalina. Are there any accommodation provided for interested students who live in KB and Timburong? So for those uh, who live in KB, uh, they and, and Tumburong and, and other district, we unfortunately we don't do not have hostel facilities at the moment. So just sharing what our previous students uh, have done is they will be renting uh, accommodation. Uh, on their own with a group of friends. So for example, five friends sharing a, a house, for example. So um, they will be paying for the rental as part from their daily allowance, eh, from their monthly allowance, sorry. Um, thank you. Um, what about transportation? Do you provide transportation as well? Yeah, um, so my, can I go back to my slide? So I just want to share the slides that I have earlier on. So this slide shows the um, the transportation that will be uh, used by the students if for those who do not have a driving license. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, there are three pickup points, one from the Ong Song Peng campus, the other is from the Jurudong Park playground, and the, uh, the third one is from Chutong Hospital. However, uh, there is a, a charge of $66 per month uh, will be uh, no, uh, uh, you will have to pay it out of your monthly allowance. I hope that answers your question. Thank you. Uh, there's another question. Is there any age limit for applying uh, polytechnic? Um, as long as you have the all level qualification, the, the, the five credits, uh, in the relevant subject and meeting the 26 points, uh, we should be able to uh, consider you. Uh, another question from Nor Amalina. Are there any training program with international university? Sorry, can you repeat that again? Um, she's asking if there are any training programs with international universities. Right. Um, yeah, thank you very much. That's a very good question, by the way. Um, so the, the five programs that I have uh, shared with you uh, is a collaboration between Polytechnic Brunei and Hengi. So it's a two plus one program where you will study two years at Polytechnic Brunei in one year, you will be doing industrial-based uh, training at, at Hengi. One of the program, which is called Chemical M Engineering, uh, which was offered in January 2021, the, as part of the final year, they, they are going to Lanzhou Polytechnic in China to do their training. So six months in Lanzhou Polytechnic, in China and six months at Hengi. 
So these are the collaboration. For the other programs under the School of Science and Engineering, currently we do not have any other twinning program. Thank you, Doctor. There's another question from uh, Hafiz. Any quota for each program? Thank you, Hafiz, for that uh, question. Again, a very good question. Thank you for asking. Um, yes, to, uh, to answer your question, yes, there is a quota. Um, so how we uh, select is we all applicants will have a point system. Okay, so for example, the minimum is 26 points. And let's say out of 100 applicants, the, the, the highest, the, the top of that 100 applicants, he or she could have 18 points, for example. So he will be ranked number one and so on. So if the quota is, for example, 30, 30 we will take the top 30 and the rest will be in the waiting list. I hope that answer your question. Okay, thank you. There's another question uh, from Dania. Uh, she said, I'm currently studying in IBTE Nakoda uh, Ragam and I'm a design and draft, drafting student. By next year, if I want to continue studying in Polytechnic Lumot, which uh, she will take uh, ar architecture, can I be accepted to study there even though I don't have any English credits? Thank you. Right. Um, so thank you very much, Nadia. Uh, all the best in your studies. So you are interested to do a program in architecture, am I right? Yes. Yeah. So um, your program that you are currently studying, which is the design and drafting, is relevant to the architecture program. So uh, yes, you'll be able to apply. So your other question is with regards to English. You don't have an all-level English. So for those who do not have an all-level English, you require to do a, a test, um, an English test. If you do not have a maths all-level, then you will require to do a maths test. I would just like to clarify, the, the test is used as a point mechanism. So depending on how much you score for your test, that will add up to your point system. Again, we are using it for ranking purposes. I hope that answer um, you. Another question. Okay. Uh, thank you, Doctor. There's another question. How about business program? Are there no collaboration with other universities? Um, yeah. Um, this, the School of Business runs a few uh, business programs. So currently, we, we, uh, we don't have any um, twinning program with uh, other um, higher education institutions in other countries. But that is something that we will be thinking of in the future. Thank you. Um, another question from Hafiz. Will there be any interview for applying the programs? Yeah, thank you very much, Hafiz. Uh, if you can see from the screen, um, yes, there will be an interview conducted by personnel from Hengi and some from the School of Science and Engineering. Okay. Um, so does that mean that they will be employed after all uh, at the end of their um, study in Polytechnic by Hengi? Okay. So upon a successful entry into the program, that means you meet all the requirements, uh, you will be given a, a COE, uh, Condition of Employment, by Hengi. But after your programs, uh, your two-year studies at uh, Polytechnic Brunei, you will have to satisfy the requirement by Hengi. Okay. Um, another question from Nor Amalina. Uh, she's wondering if there is online learning or any blended learning. Okay. 
Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Amalina. Uh, again, uh, very impressed with some of the questions that is being asked. Uh, so uh, ever since COVID hit uh, Brunei and when our students have to go, uh, um, have to stay home for, for, their, for their studies, uh, we do online teaching and learning. Um, because at Polytechnic Brunei, we have a very strong uh, learning management system in place where the staff can, can do their, their teaching as well as the students can do their learning online. Okay, um, there's another question from Dania. Um, this is the uh, architecture one. Um, she said, sorry, doctor, the maths that I got is IGSCE. Will I be required to take maths GSCE uh, even if I already have IGSCE maths? All right, thank you, Dania. Um, so can I just find out, you are currently studying at IBTE, correct, Dania? Yes. Okay, so uh, the first thing that you have to do, Dania, is to make sure you achieve the GPA, which is uh, 2.7 and above, right? So that is your, your aim, right? You have to aim to, to get 2.7 and above. Don't worry too much about your maths. So if your maths uh, is IGCSE, uh, can I find out what grade did you get for your IGCSE? Maths? Um, C6. Right. So for that one, you will be required to do a test. But again, as I mentioned, the test will be used only for ranking purpose. So we will use it as a point system. So don't worry too much about your IGCAC maths. I think the most important for you now, Nadia, is to study hard. Uh, achieve 2.7 and above, and we look forward to see you at Polytechnic Brunei. Thank you, Doctor. Um, uh, to our part participants today, do you have any more questions? Uh, you can post them at the chat area. Time until two forty. So, for those of you who are available on the on next Wednesday and Thursday, please feel free to drop by and to talk to our staff. Okay. Oh, um, there's another question from Hafiz. He says, sorry, doctor, how is the point system works? Okay, very, um, thank you very much, Hafiz. So I'm going to go back to the screen. Uh, right, can you see the screen? Can you see the screen, everyone? Uh Right. So let's say uh, entry requirements for water treatment technology. You must have a minimum of five credits, okay? Between five to 26 points, right? So for example, the first is English, you have C6. Let's say you have English, okay? You have C6. So six will be your point. Next, you have a maths at B4. So maths. B4. So 6 plus 4 is 10, right? Next, you must have a credit 6 in either one of the most relevant subjects. For example, let's say for argument's sake, you have bio uh, B4. Okay, so bio, you have B4. So 10 plus 4 is 14. Next, you must have a minimum credit of C6 is any of the two relevant subjects, right? So for example, uh, you also have, uh, let's say, um, principle of accounts or accounting, 
uh, what, uh, let's say accounting, you have C6, C6. So just now we have 14 plus six, we have 20 points, right? So how many subjects already? One, two, three, four. So you have one more subjects. For example, you also have Geo C6, right? So 20 plus six again, you, you have 26 points. So with these points, you meet the entry requirements. Okay. For those of you who do not have 26 points, then you won't be able to uh, apply. Okay. Um, there's another question seeking for clar clarifications for the open day. Will the open day be open for every um, campus or is it just the Lumut campus? Okay, thank you very much, uh, Noor Amalina, for the question. Uh, the two open days will be on Wednesday, 24th. Let me get the date correct. Is it 24th, Wednesday? Yeah, 24th and 25th. The programs that are going to do their open day on 24th are only related to the School of ICT, School of Business, and School of Health Science. That will be at Ong Sompeng campus in Jalan Ong Sompeng. The programs related to School of Science Engineering, that will be at Lumut campus on Thursday, 25th of February. Okay, um, thank you, Doctor. Uh, we still have 10 minutes. Um, Hafi said, so the lesser the points, the higher the ranking. So those who are applying a level will have a higher ranking? Thank you very much, Hafiz. Let you ask that question. So I'll answer your first question first. The lesser the points, the higher the ranking. So the, to answer that, yes. You, for example, if someone have 15 points, right? So out of the 100 applicants, the, this boy or girl has 15 points. Uh, so he or she will be ranked number one and, and so on, followed by the next uh, uh, points and uh, the next applicants. So for those of you who have A-level, we will use your O-level as a point system, again, similarly to how I have explained earlier on, but we will also give you points for your A-level subjects that you get credit for. I hope that answers your question, Hafiz. Thank you, Doctor. Um, okay. Um, do you have anything to add, Doctor, before we end the session? Um, yeah, I think uh, I would just like to take this opportunity to uh, wish everyone who is applying to Polytechnic Brunei all the best. Uh, all the best. Uh, you have worked very hard for your O level, your IBTE, uh, and your A level. So um, I wish you all the best in your application. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, thank you, uh, Doctor. Um... Last call, does anyone have any more questions? If not, we will have to wrap the session. Yes, not. Okay, um, so thank you very much, Doctor, for that very insightful um, presentation. Um, uh, if that is all, uh, I would like to wrap. Uh, thank you all for joining the uh, Higher Education um, Expo webinar 2021. Um, just so you know, uh, this is our last um, session for the webinar, so we would like to extend our very uh, heartful thank you to everyone. Um, you can watch everything back in um, YouTube, so fret not, everything will be uh, uploaded. Okay, thank you all. Uh, thank you, Doctor, again. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.